Okay, second verse, same as the first. Here we go, we've got the second M1. Let's work our way from the back. Uh, back here we have no markings. Uh, there is a lacquer finish completely over the stock. Not a lot of scratches uh, deep in the wood. However, there is a lot of dings. We'll steam it all out, get it going. Um, right off the bat, we are missing the um, butt plate again and the rear sling swivel. All the uh, hardware that goes along with it. You can see nothing major going on back here. Less oil soak. I'm sure that this lacquer finish helped protect it. Coming a little bit further forward, we've got some demilling welds here. Uh, we have our lock nut. We have all of the parts for our rear sight. Elevation works. Uh, this is a four million, yeah, four million serial number, Springfield Armory. A little bit of surface rust. Uh, the bolt is another Springfield Armory. Bottom trigger guard is a, a milled trigger guard. I. I like the looks of these ones a little bit better than the stamped, but they work just the same. Uh, the bottom of our floor plate, it's uh, really rough. And uh, I don't know if anybody else knows why that is. I haven't really researched too much, but kind of like uh, left on the wire wheel a little bit too long. Uh, this one here, we do have a uh, Winchester Repeating Arms housing coming a little bit further forward. Uh, you can see we have a little bit of a ding here basic handling so this sling swivel is uh, stamped um, that's that's a really weird one the screw isn't all the way in either I'm sure that's a, a replacement it's your top barrel band here somebody tried scraping it at one point in time for the top handguard it's in place major our clip ejector still in there we do have a little bit of light corrosion flipping it uh, it doesn't look like we have any cracks like in the uh, other one. You can see the black paint all over the front. The more I look at the black paint, I don't want to do black paint. But on the other hand, this black paint was not, like the metal wasn't prepped prior to putting this paint on there. So my product I feel like is going to be a little bit better than what this was. Uh, the front stacking swivel is here. Uh, on the other one, it is not. You can see our demilling. It's a little bit cleaner here. Of course, it's filled up with paint. Let's get the stock off. All right, coming down the stock, you can kind of see the same line right there. Yeah, real heavy lacquer all over the stock. No markings that I see in there on the inside or the outside, so not even a cartouche on the outside. This is pretty interesting here. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, something had gotten trapped underneath the the mill bit. And I made these like little curly cues going around. Once again, we have the weld underneath uh, the, the action or the receiver to the barrel. Springfield op rod. Looks like this one is a 53 barrel. Once again, our barrel is plugged as well. Bolt face is plugged, extractor is removed, and there is no firing pin. You see discoloration here from the, the demilling. Uh, some slag buildup as well. So the rifle really hasn't been a part too much. Yeah, my intentions for these are to explore gunsmithing basically they're paperweights right now just expensive paperweights at that but uh explore my gunsmithing um tricks and trades take you guys along I'll try to make short videos showing you what i'm doing and a little bit of the processes and we'll see how it comes along uh, hopefully i make something that's actually worth keeping around for somebody for a while but uh i've already got metal parts uh, sourced for these i'll show you those in uh, another video but uh, until then keep checking back